Hey guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Got some really important information for you related to for anyone that's going to be replacing injectors, denso injectors, or suction control valves. Okay, so this one again, like I always say, should be relatively short, but if they go longer, it's because there's a lot more information included, and information is what you want. So I'll remind you now subscribe if you haven't already, do it now so you don't forget and then we can get on with it. Now, what this one's about is a couple of things. I'll just say this can, I've got a few things in the picture here, it'll all come out. Hopefully I can get this done in less than about 10, 15 minutes, something along those lines to give you an idea. Um, those caps there, they're just basically, we throw them out now, but there's a full container of caps from changing, basically mainly changing fuel filters, some of them off some injectors and different things, but most of those red caps, what they come off is if you buy the fuel, the transfer filter, you know, the one that goes above the tail shaft on the Prados where you've got that extra fuel filter. If you keep those caps that come off that filter, um, I think it's the red ones were on the Ryko Z780 and I think they changed to yellow recently. Maybe a different manufacturer getting them cheaper again, getting them for 50 cents instead of uh, 55 or something along those lines. I don't know. But yeah, they certainly look a bit cheaper too, those little yellow caps. But anyway, if you keep those red caps off that fuel filter, when you change your suction control valve, now, if you get the suction control valve off us, there's a, we've got some different suppliers, some different part numbers, depending what VIN number, depends exactly what you get. And I'm not sure that Toyota and Denso all, all the time know exactly what they're doing. That's as far as I'm gonna go to say, but we open, check, pack, repack, all the stock to make sure it comes right to you and if there's a problem we solve it which I don't know if you know about the o-ring problem but this video is not about that there was an o-ring problem certainly with some of the stock um, but that's all sorted from where we're at it's all 100% so if you get your SCV off us while you're buying your injector kit you're in business but when you go to change it some of the kits don't come with these okay so some of the kits come with little plugs little black plugs that's awesome because you need to remove the fuel supply line from your fuel filter to your to the supply pump and you certainly don't want to get any dirt mess or anything in there so don't do that job this video is not about that but again see just extra information you kind of get information from other aspects and videos in these videos um, you certainly don't want to get any mess in the back of that make sure it's all clean no wind no dust no water just clean okay Keep the caps off the fuel filter so you can cap that fuel line. That's the first thing I wanted to say. That's why they're in the picture. That's what these are. That's one of those. So now we've ticked that box. We'll get that out of the picture. That's for the SCV. Keep those caps. Now, for the injector. Now, when you purchase a brand new genuine set of injectors, they come with nice clean caps. Don't worry about these. These have all been reused. We've got a few of them left there. And that's what this is about. And you're probably wondering why there's a wheel nut and whatever. We'll get to it. The injectors come with caps on them. Basically, more or less like that, right? That's how they come. They've got some other caps on them as well, you know. These little white ones are on the nozzles and whatever, but the most important one is that. That's the only one you are not taking off until you're the last moment when you're ready and you're ready to finish the installation, get the pipes on, everything's ready to go because contaminate, avoiding cam contamination is one of the most important things. Okay, so... What I'm saying is, you need, you really do need to make sure those caps stay on and watch the videos in the VIP group before you do this installation because there's a whole lot of other tips and tricks. Um, so if those caps are staying on and we don't want contamination, then how do we cap the common rail? Okay, because your common rail obviously is before the injector. The lines from the injectors go back to the common rail. It's common, get it? <laughs> and then the lawn from the common rail to the pump and the filters before the pump. So you want to cap your common rail. If you're just doing injectors, if you've done your EJR clean previously, if you've watched our EJR clean video, the full detail EJR clean video, and you've watched that in its entirety, everybody loves it. Um, if you've watched that, then you know what you're doing. If you've watched the one on the parts, we've got another video with the part numbers for all the EJR gaskets and stuff like that if you want those. And you can just get those wherever you want to get them. You know, we're not even not even fussed about selling you that, right? The stuff we really want to sell you is the things you can't get elsewhere, things that make it easier. And, of course, so that you get only brand new, genuine, fresh injectors because that's what we recommend, nothing else. Okay, so 
Those caps is ideally what you want, but you're not taking them off your injectors at the start of the job to cap your common rail. So really you need another set. Now, if we're selling thousands of injectors, and we are, then we should have thousands of these caps. And what we say is, with our kits, we not only do the injectors come with the caps on, we supply four of those caps in the kit. And if you send back your four or your eight caps, eight caps is best obviously, because you're not going to use them again for at least five or ten years, we can have a stockpile, we can have a massive bucket full of caps, you know, like this, except instead of throwing them out because we don't need any more of those at the moment, um, we'll just keep, keep heaps and we'll never have a problem. They can just be included in your kit. As long as every second person sends back eight, we're neutral, you know what I mean? We're not making caps, we're not losing caps, but slowly the supply is going down, there's not a lot left. And that's why I've had to make this video because I've got a solution for everything. That's what I do. I'm a you know a solution kind of person. You know I'll fix. I've got a solution for any problem. So let me know what your problem is in the comments, and I'll come up with a solution. Obviously, we can't. I can't can't save the world. It's not going to make a big difference to the world, but it might make a difference for you. So what we're going to do is give you the sizes and the thread pictures and a few options what you can do if you need caps now. So what I've done is, I've finally made time to get the, and I just want to mention, so we talked about, we, we talked about fuel filters, we talked about suction control valves, we're not meant, and we're going to talk about verniers, right, this is a really old one, I can't remember where it came from, I think my grandfather may have given it to me, you know, he probably upgraded to a better one, and you know, his grandson handing the tools down, so thanks for that, I think that's where it came from, I've got a lot of his tools, but um, that one, I'm just not sure if uh, if that's where it came from, or uh, and whether he gave it to me as a gift, or whether it was, um, yeah, I can't remember. Anyway, so we've got what I like about this one is, and we've the reason if you're wondering what that is, I've used a file to cut the little V's out there for when we're when you're measuring disc rotors. You know, it's good to, you can use um, you know micrometers if you like, but this is the quick way to do it. But when you've got a lip on the rotor on some cars. That just fits the lip nicely and you can just quickly get your reading. This is 100% reliable because it hasn't got batteries. Now, I thought I upgraded to a nice battery one, but every time I go to use it, the battery's flat. So there's a little tip on the side. Don't bother with the battery ones unless you're going to be using them every day and you're going to be prepared to change the batteries fairly regularly because, yeah, it's been painful to say the least. So we've got the verniers out. We measured up the thread and we got the, um, the metric kit out and the thread gauge and worked out what thread it is so what I've worked out is when you want to cap your common rail so the first other bit of information I should tell you is the thread down on the common rail on the Denso system at least is the same as the injector so this is not just one KD other Denso injectors are going to have the same threads and the same on the common rail most likely in most cases as well you can check that yourself but um, that's what I, my understanding is so what you do is, you just jack up your car, take your wheels off, and get your wheel nuts, and just put your wheel nuts on the injectors, and take the red caps off and cap your common rail. No, you don't do that, I'm just joking, keep watching. That's just silly, you don't do that of course. You just put your wheel nuts directly, directly on the common rail, okay? No, I'm just joking again. Of course you're not going to do that, that's a dirty old thing. Don't put anything dirty like that next to your common rail or your new injectors. I don't care what you do with your old injectors. Just think about between the filter and the injectors, fuel on the way in. That's what I'm concerned about. That's where you want to avoid contamination. So for the, the people that are switched on and know what's going on, they know a Toyota um, stud, they know the size and the diameter. It is a 12 millimeter, okay? So there's the information you wanted. 12 millimeter diameter thread Okay, and the pitch is 1.5, right? Can you see that? I'll try and get the light right so you can see it for yourself. Gee, what's going on here? I don't know. There it is, you can see it like that. 1.5, right? So it's definitely a 12. I can show you that if you like. Here we go. Right. If you look up the top there, close enough, right? So 12 by 1.5 is the thread. Now these are your options. When you purchase the injector kit, the purchase order will say caps to cap the common rail are included. And this is, I'll just mention the crow's foot as well. Same with the crow's foot. If we've got them in stock, if they're coming back to us, we can include it in the kit. Please return them to us. You're not going to need it again for another five or ten years. The next guy needs it. We've got hundreds of them out there. 
Uh, they're on back order at the moment. We can't get any people are missing out. So if you've got one that you were meant to return and any red caps and just a quick tip when you return stuff, you don't need to pay a lot for postage or anything. You can get it done for about 10 bucks. You can go buy a small red. You don't need to do express. That costs extra. Don't do express. Standard post, red post bag. They're the soft post bags. Um, they're about 10 or 15 bucks. You can get a small, medium, large. What I suggest you do is keep the bags from your new clean injectors. Slip your old injectors into the bags. That way it contains any oil or mess or whatever in the bags. Right, don't bother taping them up and all that or putting any caps or anything. Just slip them into the bags, tape the bag up so the bag's sealed, and then put your, your caps and your dowel and your crow's foot and any of those things you're meant to return or any, any gaskets you didn't use, carefully wrap it up in all the good bubble wrap. So the injectors come in good clean bubble wrap bags. Any good clean bubble wrap, wrap that whole package in the bubble wrap and then jam it into the bag. Just shoot me a text message for the return address because that's different from time to time and we'll let you know where we would like the injectors returned to. That'd be awesome. So these caps, there was, I have had people inquiring and I've had some awesome people offering that they may be able to supply some caps. So this would be good as well. So this answers the question for all the people that are asking, hey, what size are they? But it also um, asks the question, is there anyone out there in whatever industry where they're using caps and stuff like this on fuel systems? We, I could source them, but I'm flat out. I'm too, at the moment, I'm too busy and someone's offered, so that's awesome. If you've got caps that look like this, right, and they're approximately 10 mil deep, right, you know, 10 to 12 mil, I'd say. No need to go more than 10. It's just a cap. That's a nice... They've got these little lines on the inside of the cap that come up as well, just to make it a little bit tighter, like an interference fit, right? Doesn't These ones don't thread on. They just push on. So if you need some caps, guys, you just need to get some 12 mil caps like that. That's another way to do it, right? But if you want the threaded ones, you can certainly buy these red threaded caps, and they are so nice because if you can put a scap on, look at that, right? Now if you're going to do a compression test down at the common rail, just do it up and then just back it off half a turn like that, and the fuel slowly. It's only a small amount of fuel, but it'll slowly leak out. I'm not saying you need to do a compression test, but so there's your answer guys, right? You can use your wheel nuts if you like, right? Or you can get some 12 mil caps, or you can get some threaded ones 12 by 1.5. Did I just get it right? Because I always say wrong numbers. You know what I mean? Because I showed you before, 12 by 1.5. That is what I said, isn't it? This is all a bit dirty. It needs a, needs a bit of a clean up, can't stand it. But anyway, we'll get to that. All right guys, I think that concludes this one. Um, if you haven't already, like I said at the start, subscribe and turn that bell on so you don't miss the awesome, important information like this. And um, there's always more coming your way. Comments, let me know if you can um, supply these, whatever the case may be. Right, if you know, I think there's someone, you know, they work somewhere and you know there's a bit of a supply there and they could be able to sort of help out with a few, if you know what I mean, wink, wink. If you're that guy, please feel free to shoot me a text message or let me know when you're purchasing your injector kit or if you've purchased one recently, just letting me know that you're that guy and you can get those threaded caps and you're happy to send a bag over or whatever the case may be and we can just keep supplying everyone with the injector kit. That's awesome. If we don't have them at the time and you really need them, just say, hey, you know, do you know where the caps in my kit? And I'll say yes or no. If I say no, then you know this is the video that you need to go to to try and find some. And you can frown upon all those other people that didn't return their caps, making it hard for everyone. And uh, that's all good. And um, anyway, it's, I think it's butter bing, butter boom. So those comments, we'll check those out to see if we can supply some more caps. We've got the size covered. Um, all right, if you got something out of that, give us a thumbs up and catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. See you.